further that we are away from the pandemic here is the better. Amen. I suppose it was supposed to be over by now. It It is, technically. It's just a cold. Technically. That's a way of looking at it, yeah? Just a cold? It's a very uh, aggressive like a, cold, unfortunately. Yeah, like a, maybe one that lasts like 15, 16 months, I don't know. I don't know. You ever had it? Oh, I had it several times. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, funny story to tell you one day. Yeah. I've only had it once, but it kicked my ass. It was bad. Oh, uh, shit. That's, that sucks. Sorry to hear it. It was a couple of years ago. Um, I've been okay since. This is the experience podcast with me and someone else. What's up? I'm back for another appearance. Yes. You cannot get rid of me, apparently. Dread it. Yep. Run yep. from it. A, Destiny maybe. arrives all the same. We that chase it does. here under legally obligated appearances. Especially uh, this time of year. Yes. Yes, this time of year where, well... On Earth, as I'm sure it is in heaven, political bullshit is happening. Oh, and family, so family's interested in political bullshit, so oh, I have God. to I have to pay attention. I thought we weren't supposed to be dealing with that until November. Oh, hell no. It'll be way before then. Okay, fair enough. I was actually referring to the draft. Ah, yes. The draft will be excellent to watch. Are you going to watch... I might okay. try to, but I'm planning on doing some early morning conditioning on Fridays, so. Oh, you too. Have you gotten into the, uh, have you have you found out that the secret to life about exercise is just do more and do more early? Something like that. Uh, specifically, I want to go play some, I'm playing Frisbee. That's my early morning conditioning. And then we'll see how it goes, so. <laughs> Maybe I'll Ultimate be. Ultimate Frisbee. Yeah, maybe I'll be dying in the uh, in my apartment when I get back. I see. Are we? Or is this now the uh, the fitness experience with somebody else? Because I can do that. Oh, uh, funny you should mention that because I was at the gym earlier. I'm still kind of uh-huh. still feel kind of sm- yeah. slimy. Slimy from the gym? Yes, of yeah. course. It was leg day. So uh, it was leg day for you. Amazing. I, it was run day for me. Oh. Cardio good. Turns out cardio is very good for you in several ways. I hate cardio. But I uh, that's, the same See, that's time. the thing. It's it's just like stretching. The the key to stretching, by the way, is very simple. You know you're going to hurt, so just lean in, pussy. Fair enough. <laughs> Works that, for me. Like, that, that's, that's how you stretch, because uh, that's how I got more flexible over the year, is because uh, uh, I was like, uh, no, it wasn't a resolution or something. I was like, okay, I just need to get off my. I need to like be more flexible because I'm, you know, all the sitting people do makes it like I'm tight or whatever. So, start stretching again. I'm like, oh fuck, this is painful. Um, pain is useful for a number of things in life. Nice motivator. Nice uh, can be a very healing force at times, believe it or not. And uh, so the. Uh, the key I found is, okay, well, this ex- this stretch is going to be absolutely agonizing. So just lean the fuck in. If you scream a little bit, that's excellent. Don't tear it, but uh, you know, keep keep doing that until you're not you're not in pain anymore in a certain length, and that's the key to stretching. Is just it makes is, your leg day better? Is that just for static, or uh, is that for dynamic shit too? Uh, yes, both. Yeah, I remember when I was in Taekwondo, like, we do splits, and I would sometimes ask Mr. Lara, hey, can you push my leg out until I'm, I'm literally dying? And sometimes, and usually he would oblige. I see. I miss those days. I miss the uh, Taekwondo as opposed to leg day? It's funny, but that I still do do some a modicum of Taekwondo even on my leg day. Um, mainly just working the bag and then doing my form at the end. Oh, I see. Yeah. But I don't really do miss it. Yeah, I mean, I always tell people do, like, 
for fitness, do what you like, more of what you like so you can, like, move your body. Mm -hmm. uh, you take a look around America. It's, uh, well, I, I would say there's craters everywhere, but that's basically where everybody fucking got out of bed in the morning and fell. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Ouch. They, they, people need to uh, definitely eat less, move more. If you yeah. ever want a good rant out of me, we can talk diet and fitness for quite literally hours. That is one of my fortes, aside from physics. All right, all right. Sort of. While we're on the topic, might I suggest uh, add hiking at some point? Add hiking, yes. Yes, hiking. Hiking is good, except if you don't have anywhere to hike, it's a little bit, well, flat. Well, I live you're, in a flat area. You're still in Smyrna, right? Fuck no, I moved back to Macon a year ago. Oh, Smyrna sucked uh, ass. I was going to say, if you're still in Smyrna, I mean, the um, the mountains are just an hour north. If you want to go to, like, Amagalola or Tallulah. Maybe, maybe, heck, maybe uh, hike Appalachia one day. Appalachia, so. Sure, yeah. I mean, like I said, like, Amagalola is beautiful. Tallulah Gorge is nice. Uh, the length of hiking is a challenge if you go to Amagalola. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, um... If you're looking for hikes abroad, go to Ireland. Ireland. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I've lost absolutely nothing in Ireland except maybe, I don't know, sobriety. So that's an option there. If you want to be a good alky, you probably go there or maybe, I don't know, spend the extra ticket fare or uh, extra plane ticket to, you know, leapfrog that shit and go straight to Moskva. Get some uh, nice uh, potato vodka and just, uh, or maybe it's an, yeah, they got potato vodka in Ireland. What am I talking about? I don't know. Never had it. Um, but I have had Guinness Zero. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Anoush. Yeah. I got drunk once in my life, and I learned I was a silly drunk, and I love oh, it no. a lot, and I'm a lightweight. So I okay. have stayed away from this. Actually, that's not the reason. That would be my alky father, but, you know. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Funny. Uh, yeah, no, I had a Guinness Zero one time. I had a Guinness Zero. It's not alcoholic, but it was heavy. So, but yeah, go to Ireland if you want to. But if you want to hike, uh, I recommend Ireland specifically the Sphinx Trail at Glendala in Wicklow Mountain National Park. It's wow. beautiful. It's strenuous. Especially sure. climbing that mountain. Either way you go, you're... In. Huh? Gotta get the leg days in so you can hike that shit. Yeah, man. Or you or, can do the cliffs. Or, or you could do like the, uh, you could do like the DBZ animu training arc where you put a weight vest on and some weighted, uh, ankle weights or whatever and you just start walking and, uh, climbing that and then all of a sudden hiking's easy. Funny. I don't have the ankle weights but I have the vest. Ah, the pandemic training years, yes. Yeah, you remember that shit, don't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, I do. I was the same. I didn't buy anything for it. I just threw some textbooks in a backpack, and living uh -huh. room was my uh, living room was my gym for a while. And then I yep. was like, you know what? People are gonna get the shit anyway. Let's go out. Yep. <laughs> took uh, took until about what mid like May like. March or April until I started running during the pandemic. Oh yes, everyone was indoors. That was very good for your health. And then yeah, uh, right. Then you have the uh, well. I, I'll tell you what. Um, I you know there's there's this thing in the medical world called HIPAA, but uh, I'm about to violate that real quick because I uh, it, what fucked me up more than anything were the two shots that I had that reduced Ooh. me to like literally trembling as in I have, was having an autonomic nervous system meltdown while I was having, you know, recovering from the shots. The COVID vaccine. Uh huh. And then oh, six no. months later, six months later, I got like a bad fucked up Omicron variant and had oh, uh, the same thing and had a mental breakdown after, cause I had fucking serious brain damage from that shit. Oh so, no. That was a bitch. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I appreciate it. Funny story about that. I'll share with you one day. Okay. Uh, it, it has a happy ending, something like north of, well, actually, how do I phrase this? Uh, it's about maybe 50, 60 certain things that were, that were good about it. 
towards the end. Uh, again, I'll have to share later. Mm-hmm. But, uh, uh, no, I did hear that the previous episode. Um, I forget which one it was. That was that was a heavy episode, man. Oh, that dark shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a heavy episode. I didn't like know half of that shit, even when I was in band. But oh, that's not something I just like come out and tell people. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, well, well, it depends on the person, really. But uh, you know. Honestly, if I was able to help you heal in this any way, shape, or form through all that, I'm glad I was able to. Oh, I appreciate that. But uh, I, I tell you what, what living through that experience taught me is I, I ain't need nobody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, when they're there for you, it's all, it just makes it better, I'm sure. Uh, sure, yeah. There's, uh, I tell you what, there there are a couple things... Uh, there are a couple things that would make things better in general for everybody. Yeah. Um, th- it's not just a couple things that would make people. I'm I'm thinking like I don't know. What if for a moment everyone could like think to a machine? You know what I mean? Like, you know, think about like Neuralink for a moment. You could think to a machine and have it do a little fucking robot dance for you. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Right? You, you look at a little Boston Dynamics, look at that shit going, and it's, uh... But imagine that, but it doesn't suck. And then, furthermore, what if you could think to a machine, and it, like, scans your body for things wrong with you, and then, like, prints skin for you or some shit? Like, you got a little scrape, print a little skin. You know what I mean? Almost like a, I don't know, like a, a body printer of some kind. You know what I mean? We're not talking about like those machines and um, is it, it's either is it Prometheus or is it Age of Ultron? Well, we'll go with either, but Prometheus is kind of what I was thinking too. To okay, be. Prometheus. That's, yeah. yeah. What if what if you could travel fast in the speed of light? Couldn't you like maybe a hot planetary system? Just anyway. Worm, I digress. Wormholes. Oh, there ain't no wormholes. They don't exist. That is a physics delusion that people believe here. Really? See, I Oh, yes. You should see general relativity in general. <laughs> oh, boy. You should see string theory or all kinds, and I do mean copious quantities of quantum bullshit. I am an expert in that now. All right. All right. I'd love to hear this, man. I Again, really one day soon. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I have done... I have done I've touched on all of the aforementioned topics on the podcast, and God knows I don't want to waste anybody else's time venting about that shit. So how about fitness delusions instead, or diet delusions? Those are my favorite now. Okay, um, what are your thoughts on keto? Oh, you're serious. Okay. So... (laughs) You are getting a little rat. One one second. Keto is one of the long long, long line of people who don't want to accept the fact that diet and exercise are really, really fucking simple. It's basic shit. Meat good. Plants good. Consume. Those five words will get all of your diets, uh, all your diet bullshit sorted out. You don't need to deprive yourself of a fucking macronutrient to be healthy. Furthermore, if you are overweight, calories in, less than symbol, calories out, <laughs> eat less, move more, ignore nutritionist retards who tell you, well, my, you know, if you're not in ketosis and, you know, your body's glucose system is shutting down so your metabolism sucks ass and you sleep like garbage, you don't have to do <laughs> shit. Sh- fucking, the people will sell you a fucking tome of bullshit so that you can buy their shitty supplements. It's always a supplement merchant, by the way. Every so, or a prescription way. drug merchant. Oh, yes. The or Ozempic. Skip, I was going to say, you could skip all of that. Excuse me, sir. Have you have you uh, perhaps tried Wegovy recently? What's that? You'd like your brain not to malfunction or your stomach not to be paralyzed? Well, maybe you should stop fucking shoveling the donuts there, fucking fat ass, and you should actually move your body. 
<laughs> My God, if you stop chugging the soda, maybe you'd fucking be able to move without your diabetes feet fucking falling off. <laughs> we love to hear it. <laughs> Which is ironic, because my, my fam- we have a family history of diabetes. Right, but your family history, it's, uh, don't mind me, do you mind me asking, is it type 1? I It's probably, sure. type, it's, probably, it's the genetic one, right? Probably, I mean, so, I've been okay. lucky, I think my dad, my dad, we've been pretty lucky that we haven't, like, directly Okay, gotten. do you eat rice? Well, I'm Indian. I was about to say, you eat rice. Okay, you're not type 2 diabetic. <laughs> it's type one, bro. It has to be, yeah. I mean, so far we've been lucky and like, I've been active, my dad's active, my dad's got so much endurance. So. Anyway, so the point is, uh, I ask this just because it's like, the, the, that's the other thing. So I'll come back to keto in a minute. Because people mm-hmm. literally prescribe shit like carnivore and keto as a uh, nutritional treatment for fucking diabetes and shit. And you're kidding me? Uh, hell no! Oh my god! You again? There is a dime a dozen dietary delusion out there that will absolutely waste your entire fucking life pursuing. You have just got to fucking see some of this shit. But it, okay, never mind. I, I'll go back to keto for a moment. <laughs> The whole point of keto is that your body can be in ketosis, which is generating <laughs> ketone bodies for fuel. Every cell in your body, metabol- metabolism, right, requires energy to function. This is supplied in terms in the energy currency of your body called ATP. You know what mm-hmm. helps make ATP? Carbohydrates. Yes. But ketones will directly supply yada yada some stupid shit. Here's the thing. As long as you're not eating garbage and everybody, and I do mean everybody, knows that if you stuff cake in your mouth, you're fucking eating garbage. You can have the apple. You can have the banana. And then three hours later, go for a smoothie. And you will not die. You're not going to die. It's okay. Your brain runs on glucose. And you can absolutely fucking survive on some sugar. And goddamn, if you have a fucking Twinkie every now and then, supposedly you're mostly healthy, you're gonna fu- you're gonna fucking live. Okay? You do not need to seriously deprive your body of a goddamn macronutrient to lose weight. Because that's what this is built for. It's built for past their prime middle aged dads who can be like, I am, you know, I'm in my midlife crisis and I can absolutely do something. If I just go on keto, my tea will be higher, I'll be better in the sheets. You know, oh meat is fucking healing or some shit. And then, of course, the usual delusional fucktard women who absolutely will do everything in their power aside from having a healthy lifestyle choice with diet, including puking and starving. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm just saying. So, no, my opinion on keto is that yeah. from the overwhelming majority of people – it's counterproductive. It's mm. counterintuitive. <laughs> Just stop eating trash. That's like the basic thing you can do for your health is stop eating garbage. That's it. McDonald's bad. I don't know. Like in moderation. Yeah. No, uh, McDonald's bad. Yeah, yeah. Steak good. I don't know. Well, I'm vegetarian, so I miss out on a lot of the meat, uh, a lot of the protein because I can't eat. I don't eat meat. Which is why I have these protein shakes that are that I really like, and actually I lucked out in finding some that have low sugar. Excellent. I mean, and then again, it's like so. Other people have dietary restrictions for other things, like religion, re- religious reasons, or cultural reasons, or whatever, mm-hmm. right? And that's the same thing. But I guarantee you, what you're not doing is starving yourself of carbohydrates or protein. Why no. the hell would you do that, right? It's like, uh, yeah, there you go. So lentils uh, and beans, my dude. Yeah, I was about to say, well, there's other shit, so, I don't know. It's just, again, unnecessary is the is the name of the game on keto. All right. So now... I Daniel, mean, do you have anything to add about fitness and diet? <laughs> oh, you saw my DM, didn't you? Fucking anything. 
No, I have nothing. Really? Yeah, I mean, no. No, you know who's like... Just going to be a no. Okay. You know who the real expert would probably be? Um, Stack on the track. Man runs, like, long distances at, like, seven and six minute paces. I can't do that shit. Good for him. He's, like, five foot four, built like a tank, and bu- or built like a fucking uh, runner, and can afford to do that because and he's, whatever. Whatever. Complaining here. So, my point is, um... Yeah. Well, I lost that thought. I, I, I was either going to do insulin shit or I was going to do the, uh, you know, the myth that runners are healthy. Actually, I was about, I was this close to being like, what are your thoughts on Ozempic? But once you went into that, like, oh, tangent you, about... You, uh, like, that can that can go, I can have, I have opinions on Ozempic. Oh, Lord. Oh, we, my family were, we were fucking there, my mom being, uh, you know, medical, uh, she's does, she's done a lot of medical shit, I'll put it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, she, she clued me in onto the, uh, the Ozempic craze long before it was going to be popular. And so I was like, so the principle here is you, you inject yourself with a chemical because you can't stop eating because you're a fucking glutton and won't put the Cheetos down. So you're going to inject yourself with a chem to modulate your fucking ghrelin signaling, which is what it does, part of what it does, by the way, so you mm-hmm. don't feel hungry. Okay, so you have no self-control. Granted. So what's to stop you from overconsuming once you're off the chems? Nothing. It's like every other drug out there, this side of bifetamine, will prescribe this drug so that you can cheat, so that you cannot do it the right way, and then complain when you gain 50 fucking pounds after being off the treatment. But then we looked into it, and god damn it, if its side effect profile isn't just pornographic for medical lawyers. I am talking... Again, paralysis of the stomach, gut motility issues, brain damage, permanent dopaminergic signaling issues, just absolute fuckery. And we don't even know because this was another fucked up clinical trial thing by some giant mega pharma company that they pushed out a poisonous product for gluttonous badasses to consume so they don't have to so they can make money off innocent people. So now I have a very low opinion of his epic and an even lower opinion of the complete failures at life who consume that shit because Ouch. I'll just, I'll just put a shot in my arm or fucking wherever. I don't even know where it is, honestly, whatever. Probably the thigh. I know. Um, at least when based on, I was like, I'm looking at a picture of the Olympic thing based on the form factor. It kind of looks like an EpiPen. Isn't it though? And, like, at least EpiPen, it will save your life in a pinch. <laughs> well. Well. Yes, yes, but that actually has a medical use. Anyway. <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, What else is a fitness co- – oh, uh, I forget. Is it is it ISO, Plio, Plio, or Zumba? One of those is, like – Zumba. The shit. You know what I mean? So all all of those like like Pilates, Zumba. Oh, okay, there it is. Uh, other other direction, you can go like more extreme shit like CrossFit, which ends up yeah, having some games. All of this is an excuse to get your ass in the gym. None of it is necessary. In fact, frankly, some of it is an embarrassment. But as long as you're liking it and are consistent with it, mm-hmm. do it right. Because if you hate what you're doing constantly, you're not going to do it. So what you're saying is all yes. of this fitness BS and all of this diet BS can really be triggered, treated by with one word, and that is discipline. But that's offensive, Anuj. That I don't care. Fifi. That's offensive to my fifis. Objective reality, like you know, energy and calories, you know, calories, shit like that. That doesn't matter. My feelings and my work <laughs> delusional bullshit about reality, they matter. And so I need to work all of this stupid shit around, you know, the obvious. Yes, if you have discipline, that's the 
correct way to do things, the free way. Go outside and walk. I know it's, it's tough to go outside nowadays. You might get burned without your skin creams and your sunscreen for ten fucking contiguous minutes. But let me tell you, that's also good for you. You should get sunlight. Stupid, stupid shit. But you, you see, if you, like, ever train somebody, you're working with somebody, you have to kind of play into their delusions a little bit or they stop. And if you're a trainer, they stop paying you. So, hmm. whatever. It's like, I'm a, it's like I'm neither a trainer nor a therapist. I'm an engineer. Engineer a better solution for, I don't know, people's calorie needs. You should be a chemical engineer or something. Uh, yeah. I picked the wrong career. Maybe. I don't know. No, I like my job. I love my job. But in terms of our discussion, yes, I if I really was serious about that, then yes, I definitely picked the wrong major for mm. this discussion, but definitely not the wrong career. Although, isn't there like a joke about like computer science majors like not necessarily have... No, the joke is not taking a shower. There we go. The joke is not taking a shower. Not necessarily not going to the gym, but definitely not taking a shower. <clears throat> but, beside the point. Ah, uh, yes. Never, you, no one ever skipped a shower freshman year. Well, I know I didn't. Of course not, never. <laughs> I, it's like, I would say discipline, but I feel like that's just, at this point, just common sense. What, uh, yeah. Well, see, common sense, the, the great delusion about common sense is that it's uncommon. Nobody stops to think, God, is there a harder but simpler way to do this shit? Yeah, that's probably the right way. <laughs> no, I want to do it easier. All right, well, you're going to go around your elbow to get your asshole, and all of a sudden you're going to be, again, consuming pharmaceutical-grade chemicals to fuck your ghrelin signaling up so you can starve yourself half to death and then gain the weight back uh -huh. off the shots – Stupid, stupid people. A sucker born every minute. And they, again, another thing, I wish it's like, if I were the kind of predatory shit heel that I'm talking about, I would absolutely have invested in Ozempic stock the moment it came out, right? Or semaglutide in general. Because it's like, this is the mm -hmm. next fucking Cialis or Viagra. You know what I mean? Like, this, oh, is the God. Next, this is the next unnecessary, superfluous chemical from the pharmaceutical complex that will give people absolute hell, do nothing to solve their shit long term, but ultimately be so good to play into delusional people's stupid shit, you could just make free money off it. For a while, at least, before, you know, the, like, uh, FDA comes in and, uh, well, theoretically, the FDA comes in and uh, solves the issue. So, uh, the company that manufactured a Zempic is called Novo Nordisk. Ah, uh, familiar. They're actually publicly traded. Wait, you've heard of them before? Uh, at some point, yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right, anyway, I need to step out for just a sec. You, Daniel, do you have any thoughts on a Zempic? Put it that way. <laughs> I really don't. I genuinely do not. Have any well, thoughts on a Zempic. If you don't mind me asking, what's your fitness journey been like, or what do you like to do when you exercise? Um, that's a great question. All right, I'm back. That was easy. And I don't have to answer it. Go ahead, Chase. Answer it. What? What? Come what? On, I, really I, don't, don't, I really don't have. I don't know. I don't have anything special. Fair enough. Anything? Yeah, I, don't have I will say special. though, when it comes to doing upper body, I still don't separate between push and pull uh, like you do, Chase. I, I don't know. Um, Maybe that's oh, a bad habit, or it's. Dude, um, you can you can do a split any different way. Like you can do the the bro split, which is like try like back and buys or chest and try, you know that kind of shit. You can do upper lower. You can do push pull legs. There's a number of different things. I've done all of them over the years. Just find something that works for you in the moment for a while, and then you can uh, you can actually just you know 
stick with the program for a while, then you can shift over to a different program. As long as you're like doing something you like doing. Is it is it true that like if you stick with a a particular regimen for too long, then you just stop seeing the gains and you kind of have to like shock no. your body out of it? Oh fuck no! Really? No, here's here's the simple thing. Here's how you get muscle. Very simple. Lift more than last time. If you can't add weight, add reps. If you can't add reps, add sets to us within reason. Obviously, like if right. you're if you're nuking your flesh, that's a bad idea. Then you eat more protein and you sleep more and you get muscle. Just do like here's the thing. I'll put the like I added like maybe like an inch to my arms. I don't know. I don't measure this shit. But yeah, like me neither. I I had like a program for shit before. You know what I did to do that? I just did the same two or three arm exercises or four if you mm-hmm. got four, four for shoulders, shoulders arm. So like I did the same four five ish, four five ish exercises for like two years, really. But especially nice. the last like year of uh of arms. And I barely inclined the weight. I just kept doing the same shit and then added a little bit more. It's like it's called progressive overload is the right. the, the term for it. So that's again, and if you ever want to like talk in private about this, I I know all this shit like the back of my hand, but um, you don't ever have to shock your muscle to gain mass. That's again, that's like stupid fucking steroid culture telling you, uh, you know, here's how you you got to do this. It, yeah, I tell you what, ignore any advice from bodybuilders because they're all on weapons grade chemicals. <laughs> To make sure that they gain muscle, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, so the the because unless you're going to go on anabolics, their advice never. is only is only so useful. Would never do that. I think I'd die if I did. I'm as it is. I'm already asthmatic. Uh. Well, that's an extra. That's a factor, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's going to fuck with your cardio. Oh. Well, it could. It would have messed with my trumpet playing, but. Yeah, here we are. I mean, so far, so good. Like, since, like, my initial, like, diagnosis, it's been very, like, very well controlled. So I'm happy. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess. See, I don't know. I've never, like,. Given advice to a uh, an asthmatic athlete or anything, so I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Well, but yeah, you know, we make it work. It is what it is. And. But yeah, I mean, I'll still do my uh, I'll still do my standard like upper lower upper lower split and then work yeah. abs every day. Um. The only time I will change it up is either, like, if I just, like, actually, I changed it up recently because, like, I was trying, I've been, like, essentially going for strength, but then, like, my last workout felt like, what the hell, like, this did not feel right, it felt very, like, not, it felt strange in, like, a very, like, this sucks, this doesn't feel right kind of way, so eventually I was like, let me shift from, like, strength to power, and try to build it up that way. I mean, yeah, if you ever want, like, to hash out the details, just let me know. I can, I'd be happy to, you know, offer whatever advice. I've done a little bit of everything, so. Yeah. Plus, uh, you know, I will cut through the bullshit for you and filter. Um, I sound like I'm selling a product here, but, like, it just, just hit me up. I'll tell you, like, anything you need uh-huh. to know. Sure. Yeah. I appreciate that. <clears throat> and, hey, if you're ever in Virginia, we should run together again. That'd be nice. I don't think I'll be in Virginia anytime soon. Aww. I'm probably going to be stuck in Macon for... That sucks. Mm, I'm going to give it one to two more months at least. That's that's where I'm at right now is one to two months. Hopefully right. I'm cynical this time, but last year was... uh Anyway. That's fair. Um, but yeah, remember when we used to run together when we were still in band? Yeah, yes. That was fun. We got to do that again. Indeed. Alright, well, there's your fitness for the evening. 
Huh? I said, there's your fitness for the evening. Once yeah. again, we were just taking Daniel's podcast away from him. Uh, Last time. Thoughts and thoughts and concerns, prayers, Daniel? No, no prayers. But wow. Okay. No thoughts either? No, no thoughts. Well, that's disappointing. This is your, after all, your party. Come on. Oh, it's a party now. There's always a party. What are you talking about? There's always a party when we're around. Isn't that why, uh, isn't that why Greta would always call you Daniel Life of the Party Silverstein? Well, yeah, I'm the life of the party, but, uh. See? Well, you know. Um, okay. Anything else you guys wanted to talk about? We can end it there. Or we keep, you know. Unless you want to do a mock draft, Chase. Fuck no, God. Hell no. Mock drafts, though. You think they're just full of bullshit? It's just clicks. That's all it is. Yeah. Especially if you're one Mel Kuyper, right? <laughs> but of course. Kuyper and McShay. Everybody respects them and... Are they even right half the time? Nobody's right on some of this shit. Like, it, it, like your mock draft is busted by, like, pick five every year anyway. Right. It's like, I feel like we do a better job mocking the draft than they do. You know what I mean? Probably. In more ways than one, though. <laughs> but of course. Speaking of which, want to do it this year? Mock draft? Fuck no. Got well, it. No, well, not mock draft. Mock the draft. Like. Oh, perhaps. I, I'm just. I don't know. I'll I'll have to have a stream or something. I'll try to find something. Yeah, we can just hop on. We can always just hop on the Skype. Always works. Did that last? We didn't do that last year, but we did it the year before. True. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming on, guys. Absolutely. Anytime, buddy.